Bighorn fire continues to spread in the Catalina Mountains. Officials say the wildfire has burned more than 95,000 acres and is 45% contained. News 4 Tucson's David Kelly joins us live from Catalina State Park with the latest on evacuations. David. Hey, thanks a lot. You know, you know, we're about to have our second red flag day of this Bighorn fire. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to see some pretty stiff winds come Sunday. How stiff? Well, Daniel McFarland is going to tell you about that coming up a little bit in weather. But our last red flag day was back on Wednesday, June the 17th, and that was the day that created that volcanic like smoke all the way through Mount Lemon. Now, I wanted you to hear from fire behavior analyst David Greathouse about what we might see as a result of these winds in the both new evacuation zone near Reddington, but in particular back here toward Tucson in nearby Sabino Canyon. We haven't seen fire in there in the last couple days, but tomorrow with those southwest winds, that's going to be another test. If it survives that test, if we make it through that test, and I'm pretty sure we're in good shape down in here. Getting over on the east side, that's where the tricky part is. If those fuels, if that, those fuels in the terrain and the wind lines up, we can continue to see those runs out to the east. Now it's out there to the east that we have that new evacuation zone there in Reddington, a handful of ranches, and those folks got out of there along with their livestock earlier this afternoon. Now, as far as some of the rain that we saw on top of this fire today, not really enough rain to really put down this Bighorn fire and thankfully also not enough rain to cause any flooding to some of those burned out areas.